Hello friends, I'm Cameron Patterson, Managing Director here at the Robert Russell Moton Museum, and I'm excited to share with you this Moton Monthly Update for April. The energy and spirit that our visitors bring to the museum each day continues to be greatly missed by our team. And while we continue to be close to the public, it has not stopped us from working hard to put together a number of different activities that you can engage with while you're at home during this time. We also earlier this week released our April Moton Digital Community Prayer Breakfast. And by this point, I hope that you've all had an opportunity to engage with that event online. We look forward to releasing our May Moton Digital Community Prayer Breakfast. And our Community Prayer Breakfast was so important to us during this time as we were able to bring together leaders within our community to share uplifting words that will hopefully help our community as we move forward during these unprecedented circumstances. You'll also get to experience the awesome work of our education team. We are releasing our Moton Mailbag podcast. This is a weekly listener show that allows you the opportunity to submit questions that might be related to the content that we share here at Moton. It might be related to African-American history and any other topic that you might think of that's history related. We also look forward to introducing our Moton interview series where we will have the opportunity to engage with professionals in the museum field as well as individuals impacted by the history that we share. We'll begin the launch of these two initiatives next week by releasing an interview that our team conducted with Terry Canfield, an author and lawyer who wrote the award-winning book, Girl from the Tar Paper School, which focuses on the legacy of Barbara Rose Johns and the students who bravely went on strike in 1951 here at Moton. I'm excited to also announce that we have come to the near completion of our Moton website project. This has truly been a labor of love between our team here at the museum and letterpress communications here in Farmville. We have worked alongside members of our Moton Council Marketing Committee to put together a site that is visually appealing, um, ADA compliant, and also mobile friendly. And during this sneak peek, you will also have the opportunity to see what we're excited to share with you. So as you look at this image, you'll see the old moatonmuseum.org website. You'll see the newly designed homepage of our website that launches on April 19th. I hope you'll take the opportunity to visit this new site and share it with your friends as it features a lot of great information about the visitor experience here at Moton. Again, we are so grateful for your continued support during these unprecedented times. Uh, we're gonna need that support as we continue to move forward, continue to engage with us, and we look forward to sharing continued updates with you um, in the weeks ahead. Thank you.